Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Ashley, and today we're going to be playing in this gorgeous bob. She's an ombre blonde to dark root, and she comes from the brand Royal Me. So as far as the packaging goes, you guys see they have a nice box, and inside is your wig, which is nicely tucked away. She came with some cute curls, and of course we're going to go ahead and update those curls. Pre-parted in the center, she came with an adjustable elastic band. So here's a glimpse into the cap construction. You get your fake scalp with the Royal Dream HD lace. And this is what it looks like on the opposite side. I do have a wig cap on. You guys can see that you can see that through. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off because it's not necessary. Again, with a fake scalp, you definitely do not need to wear a wig cap at all. You can just apply your wig. And as you guys can see, when you peep through, it just looks like my natural hairline. So I moved the hair out of the way and I'm going to go ahead and proceed to cut off the lace. This one did come nicely pre-plucked. I did kind of check it to make sure, you know, I didn't want to add any customization and it was more than perfect. So I definitely decided to go ahead and just remove the cap or I'm sorry, the excess lace because I knew I wasn't going to be doing any customization. This here is the length of the hair. It does come with some curls, but the curls definitely fail instantly. So you definitely will have to decide, you know, what kind of hairstyle you want to do and go ahead and pretty much recurl it for yourself. I opted for a center part. It was pre-parted, but it kind of was like a slanted part, which was nice, but I just thought a center part would look better on me. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my wax stick and my electric hot comb and kind of just going to go ahead and smooth out the crown of the head. That way it can just have a nice, really smooth and sleek finish. All the specs and details on this wig are in the description box. Here I just went to my Old Faithful which is the Got To Be Blue Gel in the color black. I kind of just added a little bit to the hairline. Now this one fits glueless and I could have pulled it off especially because I have that elastic band which is why I just put a little at the front center of my head with this as far as the glue goes and I just kind of wanted it to be super melted and that's why I added it but if you definitely do not want to add gel or glue you do not have to this this one can definitely be worn glueless so as far as baby hair goes I decided I wanted to do just two little swoops both one on each side So with the Royal Dream HD lace, I absolutely love how seamless it is, but it is a little bit lighter than my complexion, and that's kind of what gives that white cast. Um, with me having darker skin, it just definitely comes off a little bit lighter. You don't have to do anything to the lace as far as like the knots and all that goes, but I will add powder at the very end to go ahead and make it match my skin, and you're going to see it's going to blend super seamless. I went back in and tweezed out or cut out a little bit more um, baby hair just so that each side could match a little bit better and I love the way that came out. Kind of silked that in with a little bit of heat and kind of added some you know dimension in the front. That way I could show off that baby hair is super nice and everything can be super flat and smooth. And I went ahead with that same wand color and just you know flattened out any kinks anywhere around. We're almost done, but the next step is going to be to go ahead and wand curl. Now this hair again can curl. It curls nicely. It holds a curl super easily. So I just want to go in all the way around and just add in some quick curls. I knew how well this one was going to wave up easily. So again, I have different sizes, huge chunks. I'm not leaving the wand curler on for too long. And I'm just, again, going to go ahead and revive the curl that's already there. Because I don't want it, you know, super tight curls or Shirley Temple curls. I just want a nice wave. And these are what the curls look like when they were done. I went ahead and just went ahead and curled or uh, pulled them out with a wide tooth comb. And you guys see I have like a sexy beach wave style bob going on. Added a little bit of powder at the end to go ahead and make everything match my skin tone. And everything looks amazing. A holy spray? In my opinion, wand curls are literally the easiest way to add curls. 
And in this case, bring curls or revamp curls that are already there. But again, this one came from Royal Me. This is their new wearproof fake scalp lace wig. And of course, they sent it in a nice ombre bob. I absolutely love a bob that you can tease and make flirty and fun. It's definitely my preferred style when it comes to bobs in general. I mean, a straight bob is super fly always but to go ahead and like tease it and add some curls to it definitely gives it a lot of personality and of course it sets it off that it came with the blonde ombre situation this one is definitely perfect for summer now what i loved about this is i didn't need a wig cap the knots came pre-bleached it came with the cap underneath so it pretty much blended with my skin and I did not need any powder. The only place I really added powder and needed it was along the hairline because this comes in front of the actual cap and that worked out great. I definitely went ahead and added just a little bit of natural baby hair. I didn't want to do too much so I just did like the two swoops, one on each side and that worked out awesome. To sleep in this one I'll probably just throw some flexi rods in there so that when I wake up I don't have to really do much and then just do a scarf around the perimeter. With the exception of curling the hair, this literally is a 10 minute install. For me, I was going to go glueless and you guys see that that would have worked great, especially adding some um, um, a scarf around to kind of let the, la the lace blend or melt or, you know, basically melt into my hairline naturally. But at the last minute, I did decide to bring out an Old Faithful and this is the Got To Be Glue Gel. I'm trying to use different products because you guys know I'm always using the Got To Be Glue Spray. As much as I love that, it's kind of nice to switch it up and just do different things. And that definitely worked out well. It's definitely stuck to my head. And then of course it had an adjustable um, elastic band which even makes it that much better because it fit amazing. And as you guys know, an elastic band always makes a lace wig a little bit more glueless when it's applied properly. And yeah, all the specs and details on this wig are in the description bar. I honestly had no complaints at all about this one. There was literally no craziness, no tangling, no shedding, no foul odors. Literally nothing I can complain about with this wig. It was ready to go, quick, easy, five to 10 minute install, and then you just have fun with it with the styling after that. So if you liked this wig and you enjoyed this install, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and check out Royal Me. Link to this wig is in the description bar as well as all the details on everything I use to create this look. Hairsprays, foam lotions, adhesive, literally everything that I use is in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.